Chandra Smith, host of the Everyday Gourmet. We're a little cooking show doing big things with food. We take a couple of extra special ingredients, add them to everyday food items, and make a fabulous gourmet feast. Today we're making salmon hamburgers and black bean salad. So we're going to get started with the salad. First thing I did is I have a bag, um, I have a can of black beans that I've rinsed and drained. To that, I'm going to add one drained can of corn. Then I have a half of a red pepper. It's been chopped. I have a half of a cucumber that's been chopped. And I'm going to squeeze the juice of one lime. All over. If you prefer bottled lime juice, you can do that, but I like the taste of the fresh. Okay. I'm also going to add some garlic. Not too much. And some fresh herbs. I'm going to add some cilantro, which is a very fragrant herb that is used in a lot of Mexican cooking. I'm just going to cut the stems off and then chop this. And you don't want to chop too small, you want to be able to taste it. It's going to be marinating with the beans and the other ingredients. So that's about a half of a cup of fresh cilantro. Okay, and to that I'm also going to add four scallions that have been sliced. I've got some here. Scallions are a member of a, the onion family. They have a very mild taste and they're good to use in place of onions. You think that you want that oniony taste, but you don't want it to overpower your dish. Okay, okay now we're going to start seasoning this up. Add about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to add about a teaspoon or so of cumin, which is another spice that is used a lot in Mexican cooking. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. And toss. Now this needs to marinate for about an hour. And it's actually better if you can leave it overnight. Really mingle and get in there. So we're going to put that in the refrigerator for now and come back to it. We're going to get ready to do those um, salmon hamburgers right now. So do that. We're going to start making those salmon burgers now. First thing I'm going to do is I have a can of um, pink salmon that I have drained. I'm going to put that into my bowl. Now you will notice that the salmon still has bones in it. You want those bones, they're an excellent source of calcium and omega-3 fatty acids. So you're just going to kind of break that up. This dish actually works best if you do it with your hands. So break that up a little bit. And to that you're going to add one egg, about a quarter of a chopped onion. You're going to add about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. And I like to use the Italian seasoned ones. A squirt of mustard and the official spice of the state of Maryland, some Old Bay crab seasoning. Okay, then you're just going to mix that up like so. Don't be afraid to get your hands in there. I'm just going to mix it up. If it still seems a little wet because maybe you didn't drain it well enough, put some more breadcrumbs in it. Which I think I'm going to add a couple more. really can't go wrong with this recipe. And you add as many seasonings as you would like. Um, so it's, the Old Bay has a lot of spice and a lot of flavor to it, so you don't need a whole lot of that. Okay. Finish with those. Now we're just going to form them into patties. Each can should make you about four good-sized salmon patties. Grab about a handful, just like you were doing ground beef. You're going to shape and pat into a patty. You can make it thinner or thicker, depending on your preference. Just like 
that. Really easy. Takes you about 15 minutes to get them from start to finish. Okay. Now we're going to saute these in just a little bit of olive oil until they're nice and brown. Because the salmon just needs to be heated up really. So make sure the egg is cooked. Let me wash my hands. Got a non-stick pan here that I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil in. And I want to get it hot, but not too hot. Because you really want to um, get a good sizzle. And you want to get a nice crust on your salmon cakes. So let that heat up. Looks like our pan is hot enough. Just gonna slip these bad boys in here. And like I said, they don't take long, so don't go very far. And you don't need to mush them down like you do beef burgers. Okay, it's probably gonna take about three or four minutes per side until you get the desired brownness. And then we're gonna flip them over and get them brown on the other side as well. Just gonna keep an eye on these. Meanwhile, we're going to prepare some paper towels. Put them on to drain any excess oils. Cooking really well. Nice light golden brown. And let some of the other ones get just a little bit darker. You see how fast that cooks? Really doesn't take any time. Again, you're just kind of warming up the salmon and cooking that egg through because you don't want to ever have anything where the eggs are raw or undercooked. That can cause all sorts of problems. Okay. okay, we're going to let those cook off. And as soon as they're finished, I'm going to make a really cool sauce to go with them. Okay, we finished our salmon cakes. I just put them on a plate with paper towel just to absorb some of the excess oils. I'm going to set them to the side and I'm going to make a honey mustard sauce to put on top of them. It's real simple. I'm just going to start with about a quarter cup of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon of your favorite mustard, and about a tablespoon of your favorite honey. Okay, I'm just going to mix that up. Super, super simple. If you would like, you could probably chill it for a little bit before you um, get ready to serve your sandwiches. Okay, over here I've got some whole wheat rolls. Not white bread, remember last time. Nothing white. White pasta, white potatoes, white rolls. Whole wheat greens. Take a couple of our salmon cakes. Place them in here. A little bit of our sauce. And there you have your salmon burgers. <laughs> the black bean salad that has chilled and marinated really nicely. I'm going to put that on the plate right here, and you have a really quick and tasty summer meal. Just garnish this a little bit, and there you have it, salmon burgers with black bean salad. I'm Chandra Smith. You've been watching The Everyday Gourmet. Join us next time, and remember, Psalms 34 and 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Be blessed.